Yo, what's good, YouTube? Y'all know me. It's your boy, MacDZ, back up in there. And today, today we got the Tribit or Tribit or whatever it is that you call them, the Tribit, Tribit, Quiet Plus 78s. Okay, so these are active noise canceling headphones. They're Bluetooth 5.0, wireless headphones with over the ear, uh, 35 hour playtime. They claim deep bass, digital active noise cancellation, and a foldable headset for home or office use. Now, um, I wanted to pick these up because, of course, uh, Tribit had an actual discount code that they were um, offering to those who, um, you know, subscribe to their channel or whatever that is that they do when they email you some notifications. This came at about, I want to say 30 something or 40 something percent off at the time when I did purchase this, which was back at the beginning of the month of December when I placed my order. Um, and then actually when you were given the code and the availability of it to show up on the, um, for, uh, purchase it came actually came on December 20th or so so just before Christmas So I uh, wanted to go ahead and open this up to give you guys a quick unboxing experience of what you should be getting with it uh, Maybe give you a real quick uh, listening test here Just so I can see what it sounds like and tell you a little bit more about that and what I think about the quality now While I'm doing all of that stuff. I wanted to also mention a few things Let's take a look around the box and I'll get into it all right, so we have the wireless headphones, Hearing, hear the difference. Now, Tribit actually lets you know that you have a long battery life. Notice it doesn't give you a, an amount of time. Foldable, hybrid noise canceling, and then superior sound. Looking on the back, it just gives you more of the same here of the actual company name, model, and then some QR codes. Nothing on this side. So the reason why I mentioned I wanted to talk a little bit more about it is because when you look at this on Amazon, they say 35 hours of playtime, but they don't tell you what, at what volume they, they say 40 millimeter drives, but they don't tell you the quality of the bass. They don't give you the, the frequencies. They tell you things like professional active noise cancellation. Does that mean that there's an amateur noise cancellation? Just wondering, um, you know, here's the deal. When you're not giving people time frames and and um, and you're not giving when you're giving people time frames rather than actual, uh, you know, hey, your battery's gonna last for this many hours, but because the milliamp hours is this da 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 da, da what you're doing is pulling kind of like a Sony. Now Sony gets away with that because they're Sony. Tribut is kind of new to the market. And I get it. Listen, you guys um, were actually founded by a collective of sound engineers and it's designed by with that with that fast growing audio brand in North America. I get all that. That's cool. But you're not Sony yet. You may be one day. And who knows? I might turn around and eat these words because these are phenomenal. That's not the point. The point is, look. Everybody else who's kind of new in the game or trying to take down slay, slay the dragon, they're telling you exactly what they're offering. I would appreciate if you all did the same. Okay. With that rant <laughs> aside, let's go ahead and crack this box and see what's in there. Um, how do they do this? Okay. So it's there. All right. That's just one of my really big pet peeves with companies now. It's like, like they're too cool to be in school or something like, Hey, we're not going to do this for you anymore. Just do what you're supposed to do. All right. So, um, love a carrying case and you've got some instructions here. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Pull this back up here. Put this in the background. If I can get it closed, there you go. Kind of sort of, there we go. Okay, and then we'll get into this here. Love a carrying case. A little bit on the dirty side, clean that off a little bit. So there's not really a company branding here. I thought there would be, honestly. 
Um, most companies do put a little branding across their carrying case, but I guess that means you can use this for multiple devices. So let's take a look inside. What do you get? You get the headphones themselves. Love that. Okay. And then you get a, looks to be, let's just rip into that. Okay. So 3.5 auxiliary cable. And the, the actual cable itself is a nice quality cable, it feels like. And then you have a charging cable. Now, this is another pet peeve of mine. In 2020, micro USB should just be banned. If you're not doing type C, you're not future proofing your devices. It's just time. It's time to let that go, guys. Come on now. I do like the 3.5 millimeter, though. That's a good job on your part. Try it. But I guess in trying to save some cost, the cost on these on Amazon without any discount is $79.99. Is it worth $79.99? We'll find out here momentarily. But most times you'll find some sort of discount. Whether you go to their company site or even on Amazon right now, I think there's like a 15% off coupon making this somewhere in that, you know, I want to say about $60 to $65 range. That's a little bit more like it as far as pricing is concerned, but we do get this foldable design. It can stretch a pretty good amount. As you can see, while I was doing that, I was putting pressure on here and these have a kind of memory foamish look to them and feel to them. Uh, you do have your right and left indicators right inside. If you guys can see that, um, plus we have some, uh, Love to take that off. Okay. Um, plus we have some extensions right here. This is um, more of a faux leatherette type of material. Not much give there, padding as well. But we do have this hard plastic and it seems to be shiny here, but nowhere else. Looking around the air cups themselves, it looks like here is your first ANC mic um, to hopefully drown out. Oh, no, here it is. Here's an, oh, no, there's LED. Okay, so let's take a look. All right, so we do have an action button. What looks to be the two buttons here. It seems to be fast forward and rewind to go around it. You have your LED right here, your ANC as well as ambient. So it does have that noise cancellation and then that like light transparency. You have your 3.5 millimeter jack. You do have your US, micro USB charging port. <laughs> you have another mic here. And that seems to be it on the, the little openings and slots around this side, which is the right side. You have some company branding here. It's nice as far as the feel to it. On this side, we have that same mic, on, mic hole on top. And that is it on the left side. Um, again, company branding on this side. So let's go ahead and put these on and see if we can not listen to something. Since these are headphones, I don't have to worry about what I'm listening to, which I love. All right, so let's take a look here. Turn you on. Okay, so we powered them on. It took a while, but it did go into a pairing mode. Um, let's see. I have a lot of things available here, so give me a moment. There it is. Tri uh, Tribit Quiet Plus 78, it shows up as. It is okay. Connection is successful. Turn this up all the way. Let's take it to my playlist here. And right now I'm doing my replay of 2020. Okay. What? Them not ready yet? Nah, them not ready yet. Okay. All right. So let's try this ambient noise now. Hmm. 
So when I press the noise canceling to high, it turns, it stops the music. Now I turn on the ambient sound so I can hear myself talking. But the volume turned all the way down with that. But it's so that you can hear it in the background, you can hear what's going on. So the mic is up for me to hear myself talking right now. So that's not bad. Okay. All right. So um, the first and foremost, they're comfortable. I'll start with that. Okay. Um, just power these off. Okay. So um, first of all, they're, they are comfortable. That's great. I love that. Um, the way that these feel is though they are a little bit on the ear rather than over the ear, but I have big ass ears, so that's that's neither here nor there. But, <laughs> but I also want to say that um, the volume, as far as as far as loudness, is not there. Um, however, the comfortability, if I'm like, uh, taking calls, I think this would be, I think these would be amazing. If I'm using these to, um, watch a movie for a very long period of time, I think these might be amazing. But if I'm listening to music, cause I want to, I want to jam out and bump and do things while I'm listening to loud music, these aren't necessarily the units for you. Um, I will say also one more thing about, about Tribit that kind of annoys me, especially if you guys are ones who create and have been creating headphones and, and or masters of this and that. Why no app? I mean, I should be able to control the EQ on these if this is going to be your Quiet Plus 78s and Quiet Plus. I should be able to definitely have... Um, control over how quiet I want it to be. But that's just my own personal take on it. I personally think these are great in that they, if I was communicating with somebody that, that they would come through clearly. If I want to talk to somebody while listening to music in the background-ish type of deal, I think these are amazing for that too. And so these are more of a niche headphones rather than an everyday headphones for me. But that's my two cents. Let me know what you guys think if you got a pair of these Quiet Plus right down below. While you're down there, you might as well go ahead, give me them thumbs, yo. Give me them thumbs. And hey, always be the hero in your story, not the villain in someone else's. Peace.